Active in the St. John Church Music Ministry are not strangers to our CW33 audience. You may remember they were featured right here when I sat in on a choir rehearsal at St. John. Well, the maestro is here today to share how participating singers from St. John will spend five days and four nights in New York City in preparation for their gospel concert at Carnegie Hall. Welcome, Maestro Clark. Hello. Hello. I am so excited to be here. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you for this invite. Absolutely, Clark. So we have to start. How in the world did you guys get the opportunity to be at Carnegie Hall? When God is in the plan, yes, he makes some things happen. Um, back in 2020, we were in, well, before the pandemic, we were invited by the American Choral Directors Association. Ah. You may be familiar yes, with Yes, I it. am. Mm -hmm. um, they were hosting their national convention here in Dallas. And so we were invited to be a part of that, to perform. And then COVID hit. And so the convention did not happen in person. It, it happened in a virtual space. One of my college professors from undergrad was an attendee. He was a vocal choral director at my university and saw us. He is now the production coordinator for Mid-America Productions. He immediately reached out to me via email. And I read the email, but I kind of passed it by. Right. You didn't get so many emails. And I went back to it and I realized, oh my God, this is an opportunity of a lifetime. Yes, so it we is. connected and he said, I would like for you to come uh, to be one of our guest conductors. And I froze. I said, what? Mm. And that's how that invitation came about. So we're talking about a list of the Gospel Music Workshop of America, One Dallas Metro Choral Union, Paul Quinn College Choir, Project Unity Gospel Choir, St. John, of course, you yes. guys, and the South Dallas Concert Choir. And you guys are going to be uniting and be singing yes. all this wonderful gospel music. I saw the program, and this is such a great list of songs. I mean, you can't beat a set list like this. Yes. When I got the invitation, I immediately uh, started to think about what will we share in that space? Because it's not just an ordinary space. We're talking about Carnegie Hall. Yes. And so God gave me a theme of the rock theme, R-O-C-K. Mm -hmm. And so I began to research songs that had rock in it. Yes. And so the first song... Uh, that we're doing is called The Solid Rock. It's a, a hymn arrangement of On Christ the Solid Rock I Stand. So he gave me that and then he gave me another song, Jesus is the Rock. Yes. And so we're going from introducing the rock to telling them who the rock is. Uh -huh. Jesus is the rock. And then our third song uh, is Trust in the Lord, a song that God um, birthed through me, through trials and tribulations, life circumstances, and the song says, trust in the Lord even when you can't trace it. Yes. Just know he's right there by your side. So that'll be our third song. And then we're going to end our set with, yes, God is real. So we go from introducing the solid rock to telling them who he really is, Jesus is the rock, that we've got to trust him when we can't trace him to our testimony. We know that he's real. Oh my God, we're going to have church up in here today. <laughs> I love it. All right, so I want you, tell me, what do you want people to take away after this experience? Yes, I want people to, to know that there is hope. We're, we're, the, this world is in such a disarray, uh, but there is hope uh, that we are better together. Um, we find strength in each other. And so we're just going to be uh, an encouragement for the people that when they leave there, they say, you know what? I can keep putting one foot in front of the other and keep making things happen. I love it, Clark. Thank you so much. I look forward to all of this soul-stirring music that's going to be happening at Carnegie Hall. If you guys would like more info, please visit carnegiehall.org or you can go to the church's website at sjbcfamily.org. Thank you, Maestro Clark. My pleasure.